I was there in, it seems a long time ago now, but to me it isn't, because time collapses in my mind. And I was there in 97, and I had this great idea. Uh, we wanted to do a South African production of The Cherry Orchard. And I had, uh, with the collaboration of a man called Roger Martin, uh, I had written a new cherry orchard, a brand new cherry orchard set in South Africa because I don't know if any of you can remember, but way back then, the new South Africa just happened and it was tremendously exciting. And I wanted to write something eulogistic about it. And the cherry orchard was perfect because it's about the new order taking over from the old. So I set it in the Orange Free State, we called it the Free State. And um, where actually cherries grow and so on. And everything put, uh, fitted perfectly. And I took it to Bill Alexander, who was then OC of the Birmingham Rep, and he was fantastically open about it. He said, come, do it. And so we started, and I was so thrilled because Birmingham, in my mind, has always been one of the most important uh, out of London rep companies in the whole land. And it really gave it bottom, if you like, if that's the word I want, I think it is. Um, and so we did it there. We had all the facilities we could possibly want. It was terribly exciting to be there because the concert hall is, is right next door. You get the feeling in those huge piazzas that kind of life is happening, culture is happening in a natural way, and people are very easygoing in Birmingham. And somehow the whole atmosphere was very conducive to setting up a brand new play because that's how we considered it to be. So it was sort of new writing, really. Um, and I, I'm i thrilled to hear that Birmingham is forging ahead with a relationship with the library, which I think will be thrilling, really, because, you know, the theatre is the spoken word on its foot. And um, that's what we do. We speak the words that somebody else has written which normally would reside mouldering in a library, we bring it all to life, that's what actors do. And uh, so the, the marriage of a theatre and a library, to me, seems a perfect marriage.